Hey there, it's Elizabeth O'Brien from Grammar Revolution, where we help you teach and learn grammar the easy way with sentence diagrams. And I am super pumped today because I am sharing something with you that I have been looking for for years. And I know that some of you have been as well because you have emailed me about this. There's a new website, it's called Let's Diagram. You can find it at letsdiagram.com. And it, it allows you to really easily create sentence diagrams on your computer. Isn't that exciting? So today I am just gonna walk you through how to use it, although it's really intuitive. You probably don't even need a walkthrough, but I thought it would be fun to show you how it works. And note that this isn't gonna be a lesson on how to diagram, but how to use this tool. I will give you some resources afterward if you wanna learn more about how to diagram sentences. So first, let's go to Let's Diagram, and you can see what it looks like in the background here. But when you first um, want to come and use the tool, it will look like this. I'm gonna make my video smaller. It will look like this, and you do need to create an account. Now you don't have to enter in any payment information or anything like that. Just click Create Account. You will type in your email, your name, and a password. Now when you get down here to referral code, you can type in GR for Grammar Revolution if you'd like. That way they know that we sent you there. And I might be recording videos, um, video tutorials in the future about how to use this tool a little bit more. And if you type in GR here, I will be able to email you those free lessons. So you do that, you click create account, and then you will get to this page here. And as I said before, it's really intuitive where it says type sentence. That's where you will type your sentence. And let's start with a really uh, simple sentence like David runs. You type your sentence, then you click diagram over here. Once you do that, you'll notice that as I hover over the words, they highlight, they turn light blue. And you're able to pull the words down here into these different boxes that most of them have lines on them. When you let them go, you'll see it snaps over here onto your workspace um, with the line that you have put it under. So let's try another one. David runs. And that's a very simple sentence diagram, subject, and verb. All of these boxes with lines represent lines that you would be using in your sentence diagram. And let me show you a little bit more about, about that. So I can highlight my whole sentence over here and move it anywhere I want. I'm gonna scoot it over here. Now I'm gonna do another sentence for you to show you some of these other boxes. I'll click X to get rid of that sentence. And I'm going to do a sentence with a direct object that's a gerund for fun. Let's do David, oops, loves running. Okay, I click diagram. Now my subject, David, would go on this line. Loves is my verb. Now running, I know, is the direct object of loves, but it's also a gerund, so it has to sit on a little step. I just pull it down to the step, and it automatically splits it so that the ing part is on the bottom of the step. So I can pull my words down here, David loves. Now this word, running, as we said, it is the direct object, but it needs to have a line here between loves and running. So I just come over here and pull this is the one that I want. I pull it over here and it automatically snaps into my workspace. So now I have my line for the direct object slot. And this is a pedestal I can use to connect running. I will highlight it and make it a little shorter. Put it right here where I want it and I have it all connected. There's another sentence. I can highlight it all and scoot it over here and make another sentence. I can also save this. So I, if I click save solution, now this is saved, and if I wanna view my saved content, I go over here to view saved content. Here's this one. And you can download this. So it just saves um, your, basically what the picture was of your workspace. It saves that as, I think, an image file, and you can download that on your computer and print it out or do whatever you'd like with it. So if you would like to use this to learn how to diagram at the same time, if you go to grammarrevolution.com and you click in the upper right corner, it says sentences and diagrams. Go to learn to diagram and you'll see different chapters down here. It starts with chapter one, goes through chapter three, four, five, and these will take you step by step teaching you how to diagram. So let's just say we're starting with chapter one. 
I teach you here how to diagram the sentence, how it should be set up with the lines, and then I even give you some exercises to diagram. So let's say you wanted to go through this and diagram, let's say number one, flowers grow. You could come back to let's diagram, type in flowers grow, click diagram, and diagram your sentence. You could move it over if you want and do the next one. Birds were chirping, bunnies hop. And then for a lot of these exercises, I do have the answers at the bottom. So you can go down here and just see if you had the answer is correct. I hope that you have a ton of fun with this tool. It's, it's really pretty amazing. Um, you should go to lexdiagram.com right now and set up an account so you can get started with it. If you would like to learn more about teaching or learning grammar with sentence diagrams, you can check out grammarrevolution.com or lexdiagram.com. Thanks for watching. See you later.